concrete example here where we're going to put all of these to practice. goes 50 miles to the right in five seven hours and then stops for coffee for one hour and then goes 80 miles to the left and hours. So I'll give in a situation here where we're going to analyze this problem from the point of view of distance, displacement, speed, velocity, acceleration, everything. We're going to fully analyze this problem. So we're going to assume here that the car is initially moving and at the end it doesn't come to a stop so uh, that assumption that we're going to make changes the answer to the acceleration questions that it's going to ask. So assume, so here are the questions. Question A is going to be, find the average speed in stage one, the average speed in stage two, the average total speed of the car in the two stages that it went. And then B, find the average velocity in stage one, the average velocity in stage two, the average velocity total. And then find the average acceleration in stage one, average acceleration in stage two, average acceleration total, and then the graph x versus t, v versus t, s versus t, a versus t. So we're going to graph the position of the car as a function of time, its velocity, its speed, its acceleration. And on these graphs, we're going to show the meaning of these average values. values that we get have some graphical meanings. Besides having some physical meanings to them, they have graphical meanings. So we're going to be able to show those graphical meanings on top of those graphs. Okay, so let's first draw kind of a rough idea of what the car is doing. It's starting over here, going to the right, 50 miles in 5 sevenths hours. Then stops there for coffee for one hour. Stops for one hour. And then 
picks up the speed, goes back 80 miles in 4 ninths hours. Okay. So that's kind of a rough picture of what it looks like. We're going to assume that initially the car is already traveling when we start the timer. So, so, so assume the car already started, picked up the speed, then we started the timer, it keeps going to the right, then it stops, then it goes back, and then over here, it's still continuing to travel, but then we stop the timer. So we don't analyze, the, we don't analyze it after that. Okay? So average speed in stage one, this is the stage one, goes and stops. Okay, so this is stage one right here. Average speed in stage one, 50 divided by 5 sevenths. Right, speed is distance that it went divided by the time. That's gonna be 70 miles an hour. Average speed in stage two is gonna be 80 divided by 4 ninths. pretty fast. It's going to be 20, one, uh, 180 miles per hour. Gosh, this guy was escaping from the um, police here. 180. Oh, that's fast. Okay, average total speed. Okay, is going to be the total distance that it traveled. Not take into account, you don't have to worry that it turned around, just the total distance. So that's 50 plus 80, 130 divided by the total time. Now you have to in include the one hour for the stop. So 5 sevenths plus 4 ninths plus 1. So 130 divided by, what's that equal to in terms of a fraction? That would be 63 and 9 times 45 plus 28 is uh, 73, right? Plus 63, 136, 136 over 63. That's the total time? Am I right? So the total time is 136 over 63, so it's about uh, two hours, a little over two hours. Okay, so divide the 130 by that. answer. Now when you give me answers, give it to me with two decimal accuracy. Round it out to two decimal places. 60.22. So the average speed was 60. So the average speed was actually less than the uh, speeds of each one, right? Each stage, because the car stopped. Okay. Now here is what the average speed means physically. Here is one thing that you, the way one way you could say it. You can say, if another car left the same time that this car left, and that other car went on another round trip without stopping and the round trip was 130 miles. So let's say that other car doesn't stop. They just go one trip. How fast should they travel on the average 